interpreting and sketching graphs. You might have heard the saying, picture is worth thousand words. Graph tell the whole story without saying a word. It is considered as the best way of presentation of information. That's why it is important to know how to produce good looking graphs from equations and data. Also learn how to analyze them if and when you are asked questions. Let's get started with this graph on right hand side of the page. The question is what is y-intercept and what does it mean? Y-intercept means the point on vertical axis where the graph intersects the vertical axis. Let's call this as point A. If this is called point A, then coordinates would be 0, 200. 200 is the height above x-axis and 0 is the distance of the point from vertical axis which obviously is 0. So y-intercept intercept is equal to 0, 200 and the next question is which year the population of tadpole was highest? Just look at the peak of the graph which occurs against 1992. So peak of the graph occurs peak of graph occurs against against 1992 1992 so at x is equal to 2 so at if this is time so then at t is equal to 2 which is 1992 population of tadpole was highest. So third question and third question is what was the growth rate of population of tadpoles from 1990 to 1992? This rate of change or growth of population is in fact slope of the graph within that line segment. We can see that the graph of this line segment is a, it's a straight line between 1990 to 1992. So let's call this as point B and find coordinates of this. This would be 2 and 1500. Now slope of line segment AB would be slope or rate of change or growth rate growth rate is equal to difference of y values minus divided by difference of x values so this is equal to 1500 minus 200 minus 200 divided by 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0. So which is equal to 1300 over 2. So 1300 over 2 would be 650. So this would be 650. This is the growth rate of population of tadpoles per year during the period 1990 to 1992 because this growth was constant. Now let's take a look at another example. In this example the question is, let's label it example 2, estimate the graph of distance time when an object is thrown vertically and reaches to the maximum height of 45 meter in 4 seconds. We are not required to produce the table of values 
we are only required to estimate the graph when the thrown object reaches to the maximum height of 45 meter in 4 seconds. So let's label this horizontal axis as T axis or time axis. So let's call this as time because independent variable is always plotted along horizontal axis and t the time is always a independent variable and distance being the dependent variable let's call this distance and let's make this arrow to indicate that the values are increasing in this side and for time values are increasing in this side time is measured in seconds and distance is measured in meters that's why we are going to label and now the maximum height 45 meter is attained in 4 seconds so against t is equal to 4 second we will mark the maximum height of 45 obviously the height was 0 when t was 0. Now from here we can only estimate. Just estimate the graph and if we estimate the graph like this, let's take this approach and the curve will be like this. And if this maximum height is reached in 4 seconds, in next 4 seconds due to gravitational pull toward earth this subject is going to come back to earth and its distance from 4 to 8 seconds will be decreasing so the graph between 4 to 8 second will be estimated another curve just facing downward like this and this graph will return to this. This will be the just an estimation. It probably can be made a little better but that's the maximum I can do at this time. So here this is the approximated graph and this graph will answer many of our questions. For example if we have a question how high was the object? How high was the object was the object at at t is equal to 2.5 and 4 point and 4.5 seconds let's estimate this height at 2.5 seconds and 4.5 seconds so first mark down on the horizontal axis where is t is equal to 2.5 2.5 will occur right here so against this we are going to see what is the approximate height of this object the height against approximate height would be somewhere between 35 and 40 let's say 37.5 so at t is equal to at t is equal to 2.5 seconds height would be h would be equal to 37.5 37.5 meter and at at another time that is 4.5 seconds so let's take look on horizontal axis again where is t is equal to 4.5 4.5 will occur right here and against this it seems like it's at 47 around 47 meters high uh, 42 in fact 42 to 43 that's the so at t is equal to 4.5 seconds the height seems to be against 4.5 
this is 43 height is equal to 43 meters if you are working in pairs you can work independently and let your friend work independently and then compare your answers you'll be surprised how close you are uh, just estimating the information from the graph in question number three there is a graph describe a possible scenario for the graph where earnings in thousands are given on the horizontal axis and there is some percentage that is shown on the vertical axis to me it looks like the income tax bracket because when your earnings are within 0 to 20,000 there is no income tax at all so that's why your income tax level is 0 but if your earnings are between if your earnings are at when earning earning is 0 to 20 0 to 20 income tax income tax is 0 percent you don't pay tax and when when earning earning is 20,000 to 40,000 is 20 to 40,000 income tax income tax is equal to 18 percent 18 percent and when earning is between 40 to 60,000 third when earning is earning is 40 to 60 40 to 60 income taxes income tax is equal to 36 percent 36 percent so and the last here when earnings are between 60 to 80 when earnings are when earnings are 60 to 80 the income tax is income tax is equal to 45 percent 45 percent this is one possible scenario but we will see that while dealing with the data we re we use different kinds of graph these are discontinuous graph we can use the bar graphs or we can use the pie charts but in another session we definitely will be talking about the type of graphs to be used in different scenarios that's still to come and for this question this is it